Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. You can also join my channel for $2.99 a month, become a member, join the Virgo gang. Um, yeah, so welcome Keith Butler, who is a new member and yeah it's great to have you guys all right so let's get into your reading you're starting with camera i like you and lightning what is going on here okay somebody's looking at your photos looking at your pictures um reminiscing so this must be somebody from the past thinking about you reminiscing um because some kind of sudden change is happening shocking sudden change and upheaval okay and you also have someone who is interested in you um somebody else this is somebody new perhaps let's take a look and see all right what's going on with the camera okay hmm hmm so Virgo, somebody's watching you um, at this time. It could be another Virgo. They're kind of in hiding secretly, like behind the scenes. They're alone and they are looking through the photo lens. They're looking at you and they're watching you build. They're, somebody's watching you build. Some, build yourself, build. You're starting something new, starting from scratch. Um building something rebuilding yourself okay all right that's the first message here with this camera let's see what else is going on here oh there's the five of cups yep they feel like a failure and a disappointment well hey too bad um <laughs> it looks like did you end something with someone here um they're they're peering in reminiscing about you okay and there is this they're feeling really sad yeah okay four of swords so looks like some kind of hold on a minute looks like some kind of like they're in solitude definitely they're in solitude they're retreating there might be some silent treatment happening here wow this person feels totally betrayed okay oh well they're lost they feel at a loss feel like a failure they're collapsing whoever this person is listen they might be doing something with a camera standing in front of the camera taking pictures and trying to fake it out but they're collapsing in defeat they're um so they're saying they, they could be taking a lot of pictures trying to rebuild themselves but it's like they're doing it because they're trying to make themselves appear to be okay in some way but they're not they're 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 not which is the reason why they're doing uh something with pictures a lot of pictures maybe they're taking photos or taking photos of themselves or getting like some portraits done or something like that you know but it feels to me like this person is doing all this because they they feel like a complete failure and they're trying to generate some kind of new growth in their life at the same time you are i feel like this person is trying to keep up with you if you're trying to grow or build or whatever you're doing they're mimicking or mirroring you but yours is authentic and this person is being fake <clears throat> they're being fake they're they're trying to like i feel like this person feels like if they put photos out there or let other people see them people will be just in awe of them and it's kind of like seeking validation yeah okay so i don't know virgo who the heck is this who, who who is this person it feels like it might be somebody from your past so it could be another virgo okay um but they're also looking at your pictures and i feel like somebody's copying you copying what you do watching yeah they're spying i'm telling you whatever you're doing virgo this person is doing they're like a co i just heard a copycat it's like they're doing whatever you're doing but they're doing it because they feel betrayed 
and they're trying to make themselves seem like they have a great life or they're doing just great and everybody loves them and all this but they're deep down inside um i mean this person's like stalking you but deep down inside they're remorseful they're, they're they feel like a disappointment or they've disappointed you or there's just this energy of like they feel like a failure they're like defeated right now this is defeatist type of actions that they're taking you know how like when you know how like when someone dumps another person the the person that gets dumped instead of just kind of like i don't know crying about it or whatever they just start trying to seek all kinds of validation and attention from other people they can't just sit with themselves and reflect and be like oh you know what do i need to do do i need to change something like they, they, they don't try to fix the relationship or improve themselves they do it in a way where they try to gain validation and attention from other people which gives them a, to help build up their self-esteem but it's fake do you know what i mean so the page of swords can be like in fight mode this is someone who's very restless um they're hoping that you kind of see they're watching you to see if you are watching them or to to see the way they're acting and behaving but it's completely off base for this person to behave like this and they're doing it out of um a sense of loss and feeling like a disappointment they're trying to build themselves back up but it's just like it's very like immature kind of behavior you know yeah so that's why i feel like lightning is here this is like a shock this person is in some kind of shock so if you ended something with someone or you like had words and you broke up with someone or you just like a relationship ended this person is <laughs> they're like you hit their ego is what i'm hearing you hit this person hit them right in the ego so it's their ego that's acting out okay let's see what else wow this is interesting okay yeah it looks like abandonment and again with disappointment this person is in escape mode trying to hit other people up they're trying to show themselves off they're trying to uh be seen like this person is toxic as f oh my gosh could be a capricorn they are so toxic they get this devil energy their shadow self is the result of this this ego hit to the you know this ego hit okay so their their nastiness their nasty side is coming out this destructive they're very destructive destructive behavior toxicity the, their their attachment they're in like some kind of anxious mode of some sort okay wow wheel of fortune hmm oh man that ego their ego is telling them um they're telling themselves that you were so lucky to have them that's how they're coping yeah they believe that <laughs> they're overcoming whatever some kind of breakup is because uh, like by blaming you uh, you know what i mean um overcoming this obstacle the only way they can cope it, it sounds like this person's like extremely narcissistic the only way this person can cope is by making themselves it's such it's so reactionary and it's so ego driven that it's 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 like virgo you can see right through it i feel like you can see right through it how they're they're doing something that's off base for them they make like this huge shift and change it's completely like so you might see them doing things that they've never done before acting out in ways that they're, they're acting out they the, the ending something if something ended with this person they're reminiscing they're they're activated by something ending so but everything that they're doing is false so they're rebounding because they're in shock yeah look at that there's the knight of the nine of swords so this person is like extreme anxiousness that's what i said maybe they have an anxious attachment can't believe you're gone there's like fear and worry anxiety trauma despair hopelessness i mean oh my gosh this they're in survival mode trying to make themselves seem like and, and they're desperate 
they, they get the, like they're holding on like uh, look see how temperance fell sideways they're very unbalanced yes imbalance excess extremes they're overindulging maybe drinking or engaging in their addictions trying to realign themselves to get more balance this person is off their rocker they might even be reaching out to you and communicating with you in like very strange ways going forward saying strange things it's just being completely different than they typically are like their normal behavior they're off baseline it's it's like real odd okay they might even come in oh be careful virgo so if you're dealing with like a narc a narcissist type of a person they might even come in and be like you know no i really like you i want to date start flirting with you but they're lying it's just to uh they're baiting you so that they can um this is terrible they're baiting you in some way so that they can turn it around and and leave you or break it up with break up with you they're being very strategic and deceptive trying to get away with something here virgo if you walked away from this if if so this feels like very much like a narcissist if you with that devil card if you are involved with that type of person do not answer the phone <laughs> do not answer the door stay away because their only intention here is to get back at you i, mean, I hate to make a reading like this yesterday was so good and yesterday that reading probably has a lot to do with this because it sounded to me like yesterday you were making major changes okay what else oh yeah look here comes the magician your magic man your magic woman remember that song magic man from heart mama warned you <laughs> stay away from this type of person yeah they're coming in with those magic tricks coming in could be a gemini could be a sag could be a cancer they're coming in with this strong could be a, a fire sign could be a scorpio oh look at all this major arcana this they're gonna come in bold seriously bold I, and they're gonna come in and tell you they have a secret that they want to share with you and it's i like you i want to be with you but it's i don't feel like it's genuine I don't I don't feel like it. I feel like this person is just it's their ego it's their ego Virgo oh my gosh yeah they're gonna lay it on thick especially if in like this week you are moving forward and making shifts and making changes in your life you are not engaging with this type of an energy they're really gonna try to lay it on thick in ways that you would never expect maybe something that you thought you um, want to hear from them or what they think you might want to hear they're going to play it up Virgo, this week be on guard with this person okay i don't know who they are it could be a friend it could be a lover it could be a family member so five of pentacles fell in the reverse which represents for you recovery okay and making improvement from what loss my lack uh, a lack mindset isolation worry poverty insecurity that's what this person this is what they bring with them a tremendous amount of insecurity they even with the temperance sideways this person might have some kind of um emotional irregulation problem severely like it's showing up maybe before they were managing to keep it together but right now they're not keeping it together and if you ended something with someone or you told this person you're done with them you know for whatever reason because they were being nasty or something then that's not flying with them they're you're gonna see some signs you're gonna see some signs because when you're um when you put up boundaries like here queen of swords when you put up boundaries clear boundaries and you're direct and you lay it out like this is not going this isn't going to fly I'm not tolerating this when you do that people normal people will respect boundaries and either apologize 
or just be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was doing that. What can I do to make it better? Things like that. But these types of narc type people, oh no, they punish you. They will punish you for putting up a boundary. Yes, because that means they're losing control of you. So it looks like somebody here is losing control of you and they're really not, they're going to start acting out the rest of this month. They're going to start acting out. You're going to see signs of this crazy, crazy behavior. They may even try to get a restraining order on you or um, attempt to um, rebel against a restraining order if you have one on them or if you put one on them. Acting out. This is crazy behavior. So, I don't know, Virgo. I felt like, yeah, look, this person is just they're self-sabotager and they play the victim play the victim they're gonna play the victim you'll see it the things that they say they, they they run this victim thing um when they're not act when they're not being aggressive they become passive aggressive and they play this victim role and try to get your you know like remember my analogy um well not well the message i got about the puppy try to appeal to your senses to get you to come back, but no, Virgo, you stay the course. If that's what's going on with you, with this person, stay the course. Do not give in. Because they are tricky. Yep, I got all this regret. They got rem So it says someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. No, they feel the remorse for the way you treated them. <laughs> that's in their mind. They're so sad for the way you put up your boundaries and loved yourself and decided you weren't going to deal with that crazy, sick-ass effing behavior. They're going to say, oh, I gave, too mu I gave so much to this relationship and this is how you treat me? Virgo, don't fall for the okie doke. I don't know who this person is, but you need to watch out because they're full of shit. There you go. Boundaries. Yeah, you need to get this together. You need to get that together. You can't leave any cracks open for this person because they're going to try to sneak their way in. There's a spiritual lesson here, and now you've learned it, and now it's the decision is, it looks like not to engage with this type of person. Because this person is going to be out trying to hook up, do all kinds of crazy stuff, and just you got to sit back and be like, look how crazy they're acting. They're rebounding. Look at them. They're, they're activated. They've been activated by this. And they're acting like a fool, like going, they're getting nuts, they're getting wild, they're d drinking, doing crazy things, acting completely like very unstable. Very. And Virgo, you can't like let what you notice bother you because you got to understand that this is all a ploy to try to get you back, like to like revenge to make you feel like shit or make you feel like you're not worthy and look how much better they're doing, but it's bullshit. It's all a ploy. It's all a joke. It's all a game because their ego has been completely crushed because you're not kissing ass here to somebody. Like I said, Sunday, it looks like, it, I feel like this is going to be the theme for the week, so we're going with it. And I feel like because you made a decision yesterday or you are this week that you are not tolerating some bs from somebody whatever that is for you it's different for all of you just know you are safe and divinely guided you're being protected through all this so if you see something if they call if they say certain things if you hear through the grapevine or other people that you have a connection with this person to says stuff to you those are the flying monkeys just pay attention it, it's all trying to come back to hurt you in, in response to you putting up a boundary or walking away, whatever you did. Okay, it's all being done on purpose. But they're going to play the victim as if that's not what they're doing, but it is. It is. There's a reason this person... Look, if you have to put up like very strong boundaries with someone, there's a reason. There is a reason. Maybe this person never committed in the in the relationship, where they were messing. Like the opposite of a committed love relationship is someone who's playing around, is someone who's um, coming home with STDs, 
is someone who's like a, a sex addict secure home in the reverse this is like not feeling safe some of you are leaving the house you're moving out getting away from this person there's regret again be careful this person i feel like is going to come in for some of you and say i regret the way i treated you they're going to come in with that sweet little text message i'm so sorry at some point but it's yeah virgo no 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 look this person has a lustful fiery spirit they just look this is all their this is what they're, they, they they've always been about just that lust they have this is someone who chases they're never satisfied they're always because they're empty inside there's nothing within them they can never be fulfilled they can never be fulfilled. They take, take, take like a vampire. Just take, 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 take. And when you are completely drained of all resource, they, they move on and find others or another person to take from and they just keep doing it over and over because they have this lustful spirit. <clears throat> They're restless. They can't be stable. They can't sit and be calm. They're not content. Yep. Not content. All right? This person is like bossy male in the reverse. That's the emperor in the reverse. That's the narc card. The emperor in the reverse is a nasty, strategic, could even be violent at times, angry, um, poor sport, chip on the shoulder bossing everybody telling everybody what to do virgo i hope that i hope and pray that you're not dealing with someone like this but if you are just keep coming back and listening and gaining your strength and your resources build your build yourself back up you need to become a detriment to this person yeah look liar this person is just a liar that's all they do is lie. And everything they're doing here is all a lie. It's all false because they're so entitled. They have such a sense of entitlement here. Hmm. They, have an, they have a sense of entitlement. How dare you, Virgo, walk away from me? How dare you leave me? They could even, maybe they're a gold digger. They tried to use you or they wanted your money. You got to be like straight up honest with yourself, Virgo, about this, this type of an energy. Because there are people out there who are like this. There you go. There's people out here who are like this. There's your narcissist. Someone is too full of themselves. They think their shit doesn't stink. They only see themselves <coughs> in the mirror. They only see themselves. Yeah damn this is hardcore this is a hardcore message and it looks like maybe that's something that you know if yesterday's reading resonated for you because you're trying to get away from a very negative energy with from somebody now you need to leave this this clown in the dust virgo move on there's somebody better out there for you could be somebody new coming in who's interested in dating you as well now, if you need time to heal, that's fine. Take time to heal from this. But if you're like, no, nope, I ain't wasting any more time. <clears throat> this is their, that's a they problem, not a me problem. So goodbye. Good riddance. Move on to somebody else. Okay, let's see. Year of the dragon. Gosh, rooster again. Year of the rooster. Year of the pig. Year of the horse year of the dog year of the ox year of the snake sneaky snake and year of the monkey okay that could be you could be your person or it could be none so don't worry it doesn't mean it's not your message oh i forgot to put my purple lights on i always forget okay <coughs> wow virgo what are you dealing with leave me a comment in the um, comments section below and let me know what the heck you're dealing with here. Okay. Someone is 56. 
September 11th is showing up here. Someone is 48. We have Y and A. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they always say yeah. Yeah. 1983. Someone. Oh, February 14th. It's Valentine's Day. It was a significant day. It, it, it was significant for some reason. Valentine's Day. Maybe they love bombed you on Valentine's Day. <coughs> All right, someone's born in 68, someone is 40. August 31st, here we go again with letter E. Letter B, someone's 37. We have September 21st, birth date. Someone is, oh, uh, August 28th. Um, we have the letter W, initial W. We have an L, we have a Q. September 1st, maybe you're dealing with a Libra. We have October here, a Libra narcissist. Or um, an Aquarius narcissist, or a Pisces narcissist, or a Scorpio narcissist, which pretty much fits them all. Um, someone is 52, someone's born in 1980. Um, we have the letter N. We have an O, yeah, no. <laughs> do you want to see me Virgo I want to see you I love you so much I miss you I regret all the way I treated you yeah you want to see me Virgo said nope the letter S someone's initial has the letter S in it okay 1962 the letter B and the letter I this person is bisexual <clears throat> or they have a thing for like they have weird like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to say it. I don't mean to say weird. If your person is straight and you've always known them to be straight, they're actually messing around with same sex behind your back. It's not the issue, I think, for some people that their, their, their sexual orientation is changed. It's the lying about it. They may also be interested in... Um, chicks with with dicks as well i'm just hearing that okay that's kind of harsh but it's it, so it's not it's not the interest in that it's the lying about it behind your back right um they have some kind of kinky weird fetish thing as well and they are hiding it and they've been hiding it and you may have known okay we have the l the letter l like somebody's putting the l on their forehead all right let's see what sign is this we're showing you a libra a leo a sagittarius and another sag so they're hiding and lying about it because they're cheating and doing that with somebody else other people that's what i'm that's so do you understand what i'm saying if you just met this person and they were up front about it and this with da, 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 but the fact that they're sleeping around with other people and doing some really kinky crazy maybe messing around with like paying for sex and stuff like that just be careful I, these messages to this specific today is really insane i i don't think i've ever really done a, a reading like this where this feeling this energy i mean just even looking at this monkey you know what i mean it just makes me feel like not the monkey but the thing over his head just kind of like even with the ace of wands it just makes me feel like this is a strong energy we have august 27th august 23rd and september 7th so that could be your birthday so just be careful of this just be careful this person is not look even come on even with the elephant right it's stuck on my nail hold on even with the elephant with long trunk i just <laughs> for the males do you know what i mean like the, the, there's a fa there's a lot of phallus symbols showing up in this reading okay maybe this person has ears that like they don't have a lobe they just attach to their head attached to their like jawline something to do with an elephant here the, this person is um also so they, they would seem to me like a very somatic narcissist like they're the type of person look there's the kiss kiss lips temptation 
<clears throat> or you have per pink lipstick on, this person seems to be like, first and foremost, it's all about the sex for them. And the somatic, they're all about the body. They, they don't, ha they're like dumber than a box of bricks, honestly. Like they have no common sense. They have no brain. They're, they're very stupid. <laughs> They're like very stupid and, and most narcissists are they don't they unless they're cerebral if they're cerebral they're gen, gen, generally not sexual which means they're just mostly in the head but this person is more sexual more somatic which makes them like dumb they're just dumb <laughs> all right okay this this seriously some of you right now you need to call in the lord oh lord I need to help you deal with this. I'm not, I know I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing. It's not, this is serious stuff. Some of you need to like, you, you know, hold up the cross against this vampire and put a stake in it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel. Oh God, I just got a really bad vibe with this charm. All right, I'm going to say this and I hope that uh, I might have to like, this person might be interested in young, in the youth. That's the energy that I just got with this. You need to be very careful. There's a lot being uncovered here that you don't know. I'm serious. They have an attraction to the youth. And I don't just mean like 18, 19, 20. I'm talking younger. For some, not all, but for some. You may have had some hunches. Or they're heading that way. They might be someone that, you know, enjoys the younger types but you know if they get rejected by those younger types they may even start because you know these types of people they have no morals they have no boundaries they have no they don't and anything goes they have no conscience whatever fulfills them it's just like a vampire if, if a vampire can't get a human preferably a woman a, a body they'll go eat suck on a rat you know what i'm saying like you got to understand this is some Ted Bundy shit going on here. I don't know who your person is that you're dealing with, but they are going to be acting out. So for you walking away or for you ending something or putting up a boundary because you don't ever, in their mind, they're so self-entitled. Nobody, nobody disses me like that. They are so high up on their own pedestal that they think that there's like nothing can touch them. And when you turn around and you're like, oh, oh, is that, is that so? Oh, really? Is that who you think you are? Because you ain't God, right? And they are like completely defeated. Like their balloon has burst. When you put up your boundary and say, you're not tolerating that kind of shit or any, whatever happened here, you're not dealing with it. And, and they're like, seriously, Virgo? Virgo doesn't want me. What's the matter? And then when they see that it's serious and that you're real here, going through the rest of this month, like even starting this week, they lose their shit. They're losing their shit. It's pathetic. It is really pathetic. They might also, I just heard, be on crutches. Or somebody might be on crutches. Or walking with a cane. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. This could be like for some of you, right? Okay, I'm just going to say, like, it's not going to be for everybody. And I think I'm talking to a specific group of people. But for some of you, if you're dating somebody new, and this is, this is a narcissist from a long time ago, long, long time ago, and, and you have just kind of not really been, you've been like in hermit mode, and you start dating somebody new, they're going to come out of the woodwork. They do not forget because they do not let their supply go. And especially if they are not able to latch on to new or nobody or they're getting rejected. Oh, no. Yeah, this is like a hostage situation. Virgo, get some protection. I feel like you need to get some protection from this person because, look, I'm not saying that they're going to get violent. I'm not predicting that they're going to like that kind of shit. But I am I am telling you that. This is more of a reminder of if you ended this or this, you have this type. Because I think everybody, one in, one in five people have one of these people in their lives. Whether it's a friend or a romantic partner. You could have a friend who's very narcissistic and is jealous because you're dating somebody now. Because you're taking time away from them. And that could be this whole scenario. Do you know what I mean? Because they got to be like number one. Like the world revolves around them. They got to be number one. 
they cannot be rejected. You're going to see them acting out. Yeah, that's the message. And I guess we're going to wind up going through this all week. I just kind of feel the energy of this, like this whole week. I just heard Lonnie. They just gave me Lonnie. L-O-N-N-I-E. Lonnie. Someone's in Queensland. Someone shoots a BB gun. Not at you. Someone's in Indiana. I'm hearing Ohio. I'm hearing Louisiana. Hold on. I'm getting another message. Yosemite. They just said Yosemite. I don't know where that is. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. Someone lives near the equator, close to the equator, or is from that area. Uh, I just heard Sydney. And that could be a name or a place. Uh, somebody's got the phone number 311. No, 3137 4068 5208 5648 1162. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave that message there. So keep your head on the swivel, Virgo, if you're dealing with a person like this. You know, um, expect you're going to start seeing signs if you're not already seeing them. Whatever changes you're making in your life, whatever you're putting your foot down or you're moving on with your life, you're going to start seeing this person get nutty crazy. Somehow, even if you can't see them, you're going to feel the energy. You're going to feel it. It's, it feels like almost like a, like a pressure. You can feel like, it, like it's like a pressure. Like you can feel it coming. Like before a storm comes in, you kind of can smell the rain before it comes. It's kind of like that. Or you'll some just some oddities will start happening. You'll be like, oh no no no, this person's acting out. All right, so I don't want to say I hope you enjoy that because that was not really enjoyable message to give, but I feel like somebody needed to hear it. So yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, if you're dealing with this, definitely reach out to me and let me know. Um, this is not a good person, Virgo. This is not a good person. And if you need for this person to love you, or you need to know if they love you, this person is not capable of love. This person is not, all they're capable of is they can't even love themselves. They hate themselves and they hate anyone that loves them. So might as well just move on. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.